Many ages ago, this place was a shifting sand desert, similar to the Sahara, just sand dunes as far as the eye can see. But unlike the Sahara, this place had water. Not only did it have lakes, it also had a ton of rain that was coming through frequently. So what happens when you get this specific kind of sand and it gets exposed to the water, you can watch very carefully here. <laughs> But essentially what happens is there were lakes and floods that came through, rains that came through, and this shifting sand, sand desert slowly turned into petrified sand dunes. Now you can see how that sand sticks together. The sand gets so hard you can actually pick it up, and now this is a little sand boulder that I have. And in some cases, what you get are sections just like in delicate arch where somehow or another maybe through tectonic plates maybe through particularly unique flood events you get a sandstone wall standing high in the desert usually with a little bowl on one side just like this so when wind whips through it tears off just a couple sand particles at a time slowly over years and years, wind will eventually penetrate all the way through that petrified sand, but the wind never stops, right? So even though there's a little hole, that wind keeps coming through until eventually that happens. After years and years, these are just snapshots of what it's like to see the petrified sand slowly eroding over time, and every one of these arches will crumble in the wind one day, so we should feel very fortunate that we with our tiny human existence, get to be part of such a unique geological event.